All right, scholars, time for our next lesson in Module 4. I'm hoping this one will be a quicker one since no new vocabulary, really no new procedures. We're just combining things that we've already done to multiply a whole number by a fraction. Now, I didn't want to make you write too much and I ran out of space. We're specifically today going to be using tape diagrams. I know some of you are feeling a little frustrated with the tape diagrams. Again, this is why we're practicing. I understand right now they might not be making a ton of sense, but the goal is that they will when we're done. We've got our title. We'll put our Roman numeral as five plus two more, one, two. So there's our Roman numeral seven. And we are going to dive directly into some examples. Again, I'm hoping that this will be pretty familiar. Let's say that I ask you to find one-fourth of 24. One-fourth of 24. Okay. When you see a fraction of something, we are thinking of multiplication. And I'm going to show you why today. This is another reason why I like the tape diagrams. Okay, The reason why... There's my tape. Sorry, I promised you a reason. It is coming. This tape we are going to set to be equal to 24. That's the number, that's the whole number that I'm starting with. And I want to find what one-fourth of it is. So I'll go ahead, split, split, split. Now some of you are probably looking at this and saying, well, wait a minute. This doesn't look like multiplication. This looks like the division that we've been doing. That kind of is. We are going to break 24 into four parts. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this. One of the easiest is probably just to divide. If you know your multiplication facts, a lot of you are done with this already. But another way to do it is to combine with what we did in lesson 4-6 using arrays. One, two, three, four. And I could put it in the tape diagram too, but for now I'm going to leave it here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I'm basically just going to do this until I get to 24. I'm going to have to save a little more space though. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One in every column. 17, 18, 19, 20. Good grief. Yeesh, I'm squeezing these ones up here. 21, 22, 23, 24. Now that was a little odd because I should have been going straight down, but let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Whew, there's all of them. You can see why that's not the way we're going to want to do this most of the time. But it is a good visual because if I draw a little squiggly line down here to show the columns, you can very clearly see how many are in each column. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, and six. So what is one-fourth of 24? Well, one-fourth of 24 is going to be six. So for this example, six is my answer. Again, just combining what we've been doing. Now, I keep saying multiplication, 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 and many of you are probably looking at this thinking, you're not seeing any multiplication so far. Okay, let's do this. One third times 30. Uh-oh, this is a little different. we are going to use the tape diagram the same way. Okay. Here's my tape. We'll set this equal to 30 since that's the number I'm trying to find a fraction of. 
And even the way we say that, fraction of something, okay, the multiplication fraction times is the same as fraction of. These two are the same. So I guess when I said there was no new vocabulary, that was a little bit of a stretch. This might be a new way of thinking about this for some of us. Okay, one fourth of 24, one third of 30. One third. Now, I could put the little dots. I'm not doing 30 little dots. You can if you want, but it's not really necessary. I think most of us know that if we break 30 into three equal parts, 10, 10, 10. Okay. So, 1 third times 30 is 10. Now, you might get some other ones that look a little different. Let's say I ask you for 3 fourths of what number? 3 fourths of what number is 9? Oh boy. All right. Well, 3 fourths of what number? The what number <laughs> is the piece that we've been given every time. Fraction of something, fraction of something, fraction of something. This is actually not going to be all that different. We're going to start with a tape diagram. Now this time, we don't know what that whole number is, so we'll put a question mark. We do know that we're dealing with three fourths of it though. So I'm going to cut this, once my pencil cooperates, into fourths. And then I am going to focus on just three of them. One, two, three. I know we got a lot of these little bracket things today. These three together will be nine. Nine broken into three equal parts. What would that be? Nine divided by three. Nine divided by three is three. So each of these must be three, right? Three plus three plus three. Well, if that's three, and that's three, and that's three, then that one's three also. Okay, three, 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 three. What would four threes be? Add them together, multiply them either way. What number? The number we come up with. Four groups of three. Thanks for breaking the middle of my arrow pencil. Four groups of three would be 12. Now, these are just three examples. There are lots of ones that look different. We will do more together in class. But for now, these are the types of things that you're going to see. Fraction of something, fraction times something, and you may even get a fraction of an unknown something is equal to what? They'll give you the, an well, the answer. They'll give you the fraction part here. Make sure you have a general idea of how these different pieces work. If you need to go back and review arrays, go back and look at arrays. If you're still feeling uncomfortable with the tape diagrams, go back and practice some tape diagrams. Look at some word problems in your learn book. See how you can use them, set them up. We'll practice this in class when I see you next. Be sure to bring any questions with you. I will see you then. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.